Hello students. This is chemistry for grade 11. Produced by Tigray Education Bureau. Transmitted by Dimsuoyane Tigray National and FM radio satellites and social media. And also FM Makala 104.4. Hello students, this is chemistry lesson for grade 11, presenter Atakalti Tafara. Students, today you will learn about the subtopics molecular geometry and intermolecular force in covalent bonding. Let's start with the first subtopic which is molecular geometry. All right. Students, before we discuss about molecular geometry, I will ask you two questions. Please try to answer. Question number one, what is Lewis structure? What is Lewis structure? Hello students. Question number two. How can you draw the Lewis structure of any covalent compound with known geometry? How can you draw the Lewis structure of any covalent compound with known geometry? <laughs> Hello students. Students, did you answer the questions? If you answer the given questions as follows, then you are correct. The answer for the first question is, a Lewis structure is the representation of a covalent compound by using chemical symbols and shared electron pair or pairs. A Lewis structure is the representation of a covalent compound by using chemical symbols and shared electron pair or pairs. Simply, it is a two-dimensional structure of covalent compound. The answer for the second question is you can draw a Lewis structure by using the five steps. We can draw a Lewis structure by using the five steps. You can refer them from your textbook on page 133. Is that clear? Good. Let me proceed to the definition of molecular geometry. A molecular geometry is the three-dimensional arrangement of atoms that constitute a molecule. A molecular geometry is the three-dimensional arrangement of atoms that constitute a molecule. It includes the general shape of a molecule, bond lengths, and bond angle. Molecular geometry influences several properties of a substance including its reactivity, polarity, phase of matter, color, magnetism, and biological activities. For example, the shape of water molecule makes it is solid crystalline phase or ice and less denser than its liquid phase at certain temperatures. I will repeat it. The shape of water molecule makes it is solid crystalline phase or ice 
and less denser than its liquid phase at certain temperatures. This is an unusual property all related to its molecular shape. Students, is it clear? Good. If it is clear, let me ask you a question. Compare the densities of ice and liquid water. Compare the densities of ice and liquid water. Hello, students. All right. It is known that solid ice floats over liquid water. What is the reason? This is because solid ice is less denser than liquid water. Solid ice is less denser than liquid water. Is it clear? If it is clear, let's discuss about the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. This theory is very essential to predict a molecular geometry. Students, do you remember the idea of Lewis theory? Please try to relate it with valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. <laughs> Hello, students. Good. The Lewis theory provides you a simple and qualitative description about covalent bonding. The Lewis theory provides you a simple and qualitative description about covalent bonding. But the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory allows you to carry those descriptions and to predict molecular shapes. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory allows you to carry those descriptions and to predict molecular shapes. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory concerned about converting of Lewis structure into molecular geometry based on the following factors. The factors are degree of repulsion, number of localized electrons around the central atom and electron density rather than mathematical wave function. Let me repeat it. Valence shell electron pair repulsion theory concerned about converting of Lewis structure into molecular geometry based on the following factors. The factors are degree of repulsion, number of localized electrons around the central atom and electron density rather than mathematical wave function. Students, for further clarification of valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, here you have some additional points. The first point is distortion of lone to lone electrons is higher than lone to shared electrons. The distortion of lone to shared electron is higher than shared to shared electrons. This implies that lone pair electrons take up more space than bonding pairs. The second point is an electron set is equivalent to a single bond or a double bond or a triple bond or a lone pair electrons or sometimes a lone electron. The third point is for covalent compounds consists of more than one central atom, treat each central atom separately. The fourth point is a triple bond is stronger than double bond and a double bond is stronger than single bond. Students, before I proceed to the next point, 
let us see examples example 1 find the number of electron sets present in h2o find the number of electron sets present in h2o example 2 identify covalent compound or covalent compounds contains more than one central atoms co2 or one propene or benzene or nh3 example 3 in which covalent compound or compounds all the electron sets are bonded in which covalent compound or compounds all the electron sets are bonded in h2o in nh3 or in no3 minus or in no2 students the right answers are given respectively as h2o has four electron sets one propene and benzene have more than one central atoms only nitrate ion has bonded electron sets for more practice please do activity 3.15 which is written on page 147 of your textbook let's proceed to the guidelines to predict molecular shape students the following are important steps which help you to predict the molecular shape step one sketch the Lewis structure step two find the total electron sets step three use the valence shell electron pair repulsion geometry to predict the actual shape and step four predict the correct bond angle however there are a lot of covalent compounds and then it is easy to study their specific molecular shape by classifying them into a certain types because this method can help you to avoid the difficulty relating with number and to understand the same electron set arrangement can give different molecular shapes example ch4 h2o and nh3 have the same electron set arrangement which is tetrahedral but the geometrical shape of ch4 is tetrahedral the geometrical shape of h2o is angular and the geometrical shape of nh3 is trigonal pyramid all right let me define the classification of molecular shapes <music> Hello students. All right. Using the AXM EN standard method, you can identify the shape of any given covalent compound where A represents a central atom, X represents a terminal atom, E represents a lone pair electron, M represents number of terminal atoms and n represents number of lone pair electrons for example both h2 and co are ax type they have two electron sets each linear electron arrangement linear molecular shape and 180 degree bond angle ch4 is ax4 type it has four electron sets, tetrahedral electron set arrangement, tetrahedral molecular shape, and around 
109.5 ዲግሪ ቦንድ አንግል nx3 is ax3 e type it has four electron sets tetrahedral electron set arrangement triagonal pyramid molecular shape and around 107.3 degree bond angle students can you list down the other possible molecular types with their respective molecular shapes electron set arrangements and bond angle using the examples let's proceed to intermolecular force an intermolecular force is the interaction between substances it binds molecules together there are three types of intermolecular forces dipole dipole force hydrogen bonding and london dispersion force let us see them one by one a dipole dipole force exists between polar molecules the interaction is through partial positive particles and partial negative particles it has a moderate strength whereas hydrogen bonding is a dipole dipole force which arises when hydrogen atom interacts with any of the three most electronegative atoms it is the strongest intermolecular force the last intermolecular force is london repulsion force it exists between nonpolar molecules and noble gas atoms the interaction can occur through either of partially charged ions molecules or atoms within london repulsion force there is an instantaneous dipole and london repulsion force is the weakest intermolecular force students let us summarize the lesson molecular geometry is a three dimensional structure different molecular types necessarily results different bond angles unlike electron set arrangement molecular shape excludes the lone pair electron sets intermolecular forces are weaker than chemical bonding there are three types of intermolecular force students this is all about the lesson take a short note which is written in your textbook on page 133 up to 152 and do exercises inside it students our next lesson will be about chemical bonding theories until that goodbye <laughs>